Hi there. Today we'll be looking at calcium metabolism. So why do we need calcium? Calcium is used for our bones, neurotransmission, muscle contraction, and the cell cycle. So how do we get calcium? From dietary sources, of course, such as milk, cheese, sardines, fortified cereal, fortified soy, fortified orange juice. Calcium is absorbed through enterocytes in the small intestine. Both calbindin and transient receptor potential valinoid 6 binds calcium 2 plus in the gut. Calcium prefers to be in the plus 2 oxidation state, which is soluble. Therefore, calcium exists as calcium 2 plus. The counter ion of calcium 2 plus in the blood is phosphorus. The bone is like a reservoir for blood calcium 2 plus. When there's a lot of blood calcium around, this increases the uptake of calcium 2 plus by osteoblasts. When there's less calcium in the blood, however, osteoclasts break down the tissue in the bone and release minerals and this results in the transfer of calcium from the bone tissue to the blood. Here's a schematic. As you can see, when there's an increase in blood calcium, this in turn increases the secretion of calcitonin, which activates osteoblast formation and inhibits osteoclasts. However, when there's a decrease in calcium, in the blood, there's an increase in secretion of the parathyroid hormone, which activates osteoclasts. And this is just a summary of the previous uh, schematic. There are three main players in the control of blood calcium levels. First is vitamin D, calcitriol, calcitonin, parathyroid hormone. Let's look at vitamin D. First, a vitamin D precursor is made from cholesterol, which is then converted to pre-vitamin D3 by UV light hitting the skin. Pre-vitamin D3 is then sent to the liver and the kidneys, where it is hydroxylated to calcitriol, which is the bioactive molecule. Calcitriol is transported around in the plasma by vitamin D binding protein. So upon binding vitamin D, the vitamin D receptor acts as a promoter for calbindin and transient receptor potential valinoid 6, otherwise abbreviated as TRPV6. So vitamin D upregulates the uptake of calcium in the gut by upregulating calbindin and TRPV6. Vitamin D also inhibits parathyroid hormone released from the parathyroid gland, which results in a higher level of uptake of calcium 2 plus in the osteoblasts. And this promotes bone mineralization and regrowth. Vitamin D deficiency causes rickets, osteomalacia, osteoporosis. Now let's look at the parathyroid hormone. The parathyroid hormone stimulates the production of vitamin D. It reduces the excretion of calcium in the urine. It also stimulates osteoclasts to release calcium 2 plus from the bone, which demineralizes the bone. Let's look at calcitonin. Calcitonin is produced mainly in the thyroid. It activates osteoblast formation. Calcitonin suppresses digestion of mineralized calcium in the bone by osteoclasts and thus reducing calcium 2 plus in the blood. Calcitonin promotes the loss of calcium 2 plus through the urine by preventing reuptake of calcium 2 plus by the kidneys. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.